Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the Morph transition in PowerPoint. This is essentially a transition from one slide to the next slide, where you can move objects to a different location on the slide, and you can also resize them. So this is what it's going to look like. For example, if I'm going to give a talk on drawing in PowerPoint, and this is the first uh, picture I want to illustrate, a red blood cell, this is the next picture I want to illustrate, kidney and ureter, and I'm just using simple animation. For the next slide, what I'm going to do is to enlarge this picture so that it covers this picture because we want to focus on this picture. So this is the morph transition. And for the following slide, I'm going to shrink this and enlarge the picture of the kidney instead. And then for the next slide, I will bring them back to their original size and location. And I can also move these to different parts of the slide. So my next slide, I'm going to move, shift the two pictures to below the text. And then I'm going to shift them back. So this is called the Morph Transition, and it is available in PowerPoint uh, 365 for Office 365 and also in the newer versions, uh, 2019 version of PowerPoint, meaning that you can actually create this transition there. However, if you are going somewhere to give a talk, it's a good idea to actually ask them what version of PowerPoint is available on the host's computer, because if it is 2016, you can still play the Morph Transition. You can't create it, but you can play it. But on the earlier versions, you may not actually be able to even play the Morph Transition. So let's take a look at how we actually create this transition. And I'm going to exit the slideshow mode. So this is my first slide. And this is the slide in which I used the morph transition. So you can see here, it's actually a duplicated slide from slide two. So this is the same slide which I have copied. And what I have changed is I have moved this picture in the sense that I have made it a lot larger and I have brought it to cover the second picture. The other thing that I have done is that I have removed the animation. So let me just show you the animation pane. I've used a, just a very simple uh, appear animation for the first slide. For the slide that you're going to move to, if you're going to use the morph transition, remember to remove your animation because you don't want to have to click for your text to appear on the next slide. Now for the next slide, I have moved the red blood cell back to its original size and location and I have instead enlarged the picture of this kidney. And again, I have chosen the Morph Transition. So how you choose it is to go to the top menu, select Transitions and select Morph when you are on the slide uh, that you want. So for example, this one has got no transition. This slide has the Morph Transition and all subsequent slides will have the Morph Transition. So for this slide, I simply just resized uh, the kidney and made it smaller in the same location. For this slide, again, with the morph transition, I just moved these two objects. And then for this slide, is actually a duplicate of the original slide 5. So just two important points to note. Remember to remove any existing animations if you don't want to have to click uh, for the rest of the elements to appear again. And also remember that if you are going to be giving a talk using Morph Transition in a different location, using a different computer, make sure that there is PowerPoint 2016. Otherwise, you may not be able to actually show the Morph Transition. Thank you.